Today, prepare to witness the crazy adventure of my life. I end up getting really lost. My journey to get back home ends up getting me even more lost at the park, in the tropics, in England, and even the North Pole. Will I ever find my way back? Get ready because today's episode is a roller coaster of an adventure. It's time to get eye on it. Hey little scientists, my phone died and I need help finding my way to the science convention center. I don't have a map, so I don't know where I'm going. Can you help me? Okay, uh, where am I going? Uh, there's the library. There's the ice cream parlor. Wait, is that Dr. Bloom? Dr. Bloom! Okay. Dr. Ion, please stop. There's a stampede coming. Dr. Bloom, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm trying to find the convention okay, center. Okay, okay, in, okay, okay, uh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Dr. Bloom, I'm so glad you're here. I'm trying to find the convention center, but I'm a little lost. Can you help me? Of course I can help you find the convention center, but I mean, you couldn't do it by yourself. Okay, well, despite being a scientist with many skills, I have one major weakness. I'm really bad with directions, okay? Ah. I'm always getting lost. Oh, well, that's nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, I could help you with that. Really? How? <laughs> well, by teaching you all about latitudes and longitudes. <gasps> Let's get eye on it. Uh, Dr. Bloom? We're in the park, which is obviously not the convention center. So, what are we doing here? Dr. Ion, I'm about to teach you about latitude and longitude lines. So latitude and longitude lines are imaginary lines that run across the Earth so we can know where things are. Oh. Like, for example, take a look at this. Oh. What would this look like without lines? Oh, that'll be hard to climb. Exactly. Without lines, you wouldn't know where to put your hands or feet. But oh. with lines, it makes it a lot easier. You just go up and over. You're right. Like this. Whoa. You're right, Dr. Bloom. It's not too hard to climb. But it is hard to come down, so <laughs> I might struggle a little bit. You need a hand? <laughs> you, Dr. You, yes, Ryan. Dr. Bloom, I do need a hand. <laughs> that was so fun, Dr. Bloom. Thank you. Latitudes and longitudes, eh? So. Which one's which? Oh, that's a good question, Doctor. Here's a handy trick to help you remember. Latitudes lay latitude, and longitudes run longitude. We measure both of them in what we call degrees. All right, so let me get this straight. Using these imaginary lines, I can pinpoint the location of anything anywhere? Exactly. Come on, I'll show you. All right. Dr. Bloom. Hold on. So how are we getting to the convention center? <laughs> All right, next, where are we going? Woo! This is hot here. Oh, well, that's because we're standing on the equator. The equator? What's that? The equator is exactly zero degrees latitude. This means it's the line that's halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. The equator is super hot because it's the part of the Earth that the sun shines on most directly. Uh, any chance we could visit somewhere a little cooler now? Uh, well, sure. North Pole, here Wait. we go! No, no. Cool, aren't you cold? The latitude of the North Pole is 90 degrees north, and the South Pole, which is on the opposite side of the world, is 90 degrees south. Using latitude, we can split the Earth up into helpful slices, like an orange. There's the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle. Within these sections are the coldest places on Earth. Ooh. Arctic view. Anyways. There's the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. In between these two latitudes is a warm place on Earth known as the tropics. 
Ooh, can we go there? Please? Not just yet. First, I want to show you my favorite longitude. England? Blimey! Dr. Bloom, may I may be fine with directions, but I know for sure my conference isn't here. Dr. Ion, are you okay? You sound a little funny. Sorry, some, something's in my throat. <clears throat> Dr. Bloom, I may be bad with directions, but I know my conference isn't here. But Dr. Ion, Greenwich, England is the town that people use to locate the Prime Meridian. It runs straight through here. The Prime Meridian? What's all this then? Just like how the equator splits the Earth going sideways, the Prime Meridian splits it going up and down. This makes its longitude zero degrees. The Prime Meridian splits the Earth into eastern and western hemispheres. In the east, there's Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia, and in the west, there's North America, South America, and more. Ooh, that's sensitivity wonderful. <clears throat> Speaking of the West, that's where my conference is. Wait! Which, by the way, I'm quite late for. No worries, Doctor. I think we have everything we need, so you can finally ditch that silly accent. If you have the coordinates, we can find your convention. Okay, fine. I think I've got them in an email. Let's check. Oh, here are the coordinates. <laughs> Perfect! Here we go! <laughs> Dr. Bloom, you did it! We're here! <laughs> oh, well, don't thank me. Think latitudes and longitudes. By the way, do you remember which latitude line splits the northern and southern hemispheres? Hmm, let's see. The latitude with zero degrees is the equator. Oh, correct! All right, Dr. Ion, you can go ahead to your convention now and have fun. Bye! <laughs> wow! I've conquered my directional challenges. Now, I can find anything. Uh, except, I don't know where the bathroom is. Anyway, I'll let you go while I'll figure it out. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay curious. Bye! So how are we getting into the... <laughs> okay, Who's could, that I, could I have that back, please? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to finish all this by myself. Oh, that was my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Ionic. Get? Like, get Ionic? Let's get Ionic. Oh, you're right, you're right. Okay. Let's get Ionic.